So let's have some straight talk on this, all right? The administration says it has to use the money that was put aside by Congress back in 2019 specifically for a border barrier in the Rio Grande Valley. Cash the government has to either spend on what it's meant for or lose it by the end of this last fiscal year. President Biden was asked about it today. Border wall, the money was appropriated for the border wall. I tried to get them to reappropriate, to redirect that money. They didn't. They wouldn't. And in the meantime, there's nothing under the law other than they have to use the money for what was appropriate. I can't stop that. Do you believe the border wall works? No. The wall could reportedly add up to 20 miles to existing barricades in Starr County, Texas, and the Border Patrol's hard-hit Rio Grande Valley sector. But the most absurd part of this, to me, of this seeming backtrack by the administration, is that White House officials are quietly claiming to reporters that it's not really a wall, per se, but it's really more portable structures that resemble more a highway traffic divider and that that makes it different from the 30-foot wall the Trump administration was building, which required foundation and explosives. And it's just a coincidence that the news is coinciding with a surge in migrants in recent months. According to Secretary Mayorkas, late today, the answer is yes. We had no choice. It was mandated by law. We requested that Congress rescind the direction. It did not do so. We, of course, must follow the law. Our policy remains as it was since day one. We are opposed to the construction of the wall. So it just happens to be that record numbers of families crossed illegally in August, reported 260,000 migrant encounters last month, highest on record, more than 2.8 million total so far this year, exceeding 2022. And it just so happens President Biden has also faced increasing pressure to address the crisis from within his own party as liberal-led cities buckle under the strain of housing more and more migrants. In fact, top Biden officials, including Mayorkas, Secretary of State Anthony Blinken, Attorney General Merrick Garland visiting Mexico to address the issue of fentanyl and soaring migration. New York City Mayor Eric Adams making his own trip south of the border. It seems clear that Biden had to do something, with members of his own party now demanding it. Now, the problem is that this is reminiscent of this administration's past hypocrisy on issues concerning the border, like their past reliance on and even expansion of Title 42, which turned away 2.8 million migrants. But the administration had to pretend they hate it at the same time. Let me be clear. I don't blame them at all for doing what needs to be done, as lawmakers refuse to come up with any bipartisan solutions. But the administration seemingly can't even admit what they're doing. Joining me now is the perfect guest on this, John Sandwig, former acting ICE director under President Obama and also an attorney who specializes in cross-border business immigration and national security. John, good to see you again. All right, so fact check this for me. Did they basically have to do this as they're claiming or are they choosing to do this? I'll tell you, Dan, I think it's a close call. I looked hard at the appropriations language. Certainly they're right in when they say that Congress appropriated this money only for the wall. The question, though, is were they mandated to spend it in this manner? I think that's a little less clear. And, you know, maybe the money would lapse. Certainly the money couldn't be used for anything else. But it's unclear whether they were, the mandate was that you had to build the wall. I think there's another question, though, too, which is, did you have to waive the environmental regulations? Yeah. And there's nothing, of course, in the appropriations language that says you must also waive the environmental regulations. Look, at the end of the day, I, I hear you. I think the administration, like, I think this was a political failure, a messaging issue. I'm not entirely sure that they view this as the kind of their new tact at the border. Uh, we're talking 20 miles, only less than 20 miles of border. The, Ar the Rio Grande Valley is declining in numbers. We have a 2,000-mile border. I don't think anyone would say that this is going to solve our problems. Um, but I do think that it seems pretty clear to me the White House was probably caught a little bit off guard on this one and that something went wrong where the left hand and the right hand weren't talking. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.